So you're big on sedation dentistry, mm -hmm. and you do dental implants uh, right. in your practice. Right. So what's that? What's that like? Well, sedation dentistry, you deal with two big populations of people. One is the person that's so phobic they don't want to go in. So as simply as, and they don't even want to come to the office. So we premedicate them. No, we give them pill before they come in so that they're comfortable, that they can, they're relaxed when I see them. We start a line, or I have an anesthesiologist that comes in, we start a line, and they rest while we do the whole procedure. They're not awake, they're not, they're aware. I can get them to respond to me, but they won't remember being in my office at all. There's that population that's the phobics, and then there's the, I don't want this to be in 10, 15 appointments. I want to do everything I need to do in my mouth at one time. I don't want to think about the time. If it takes four hours, I don't want to know it. So we start a line, put them to sleep, and at the end of that, they wake up and we're finished. Is that right? Yeah. You say, look, they could come in with no teeth, right. walk out with teeth right. that don't come in and out, That's right. and they almost don't remember the procedure. That's right. They could wake up at home and go, what? And I can eat tonight, and I've got this beautiful smile. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is that rare? Is. That, I mean, that's pretty much what you do every day. Every day. Every day. So sedation, you have, uh, and, and they may even take a pill the night before, mm -hmm. before they come in. Right. And uh, they're there for four or five hours, and it felt like five minutes. That's right. How long have you been doing sedation? For 20 years. Because not a lot of general dentists do sedation. No, and it was a practice changer for me because I, how many people do you know in dentistry that they come in and they like to go see the dentist? There aren't that many. I mean, clean your teeth may be one thing, but if I've got to get work done, nobody wants to do that. I mean, you go to the female doctor, you really enjoy that exam or the colonoscopy or whatever. They are making it so that a lot of times you're asleep for some of these procedures. Why wouldn't we make dentistry that easy? Right. And uh, now do you, look, I have dentists on this show. They do implant dentistry, not at your level. I mean, they're yeah. not board certified implant de dentistry, but they, they say, but Randy, a pill's enough. Now after talking to you, uh, it, giving me insight, it's like, do you think that's insensitive? Like they don't get it? Well, what I don't like about that is a safety factor. How am I gonna titrate for you to keep you safe? If I'm doing it orally, what I've got to- What does that mean? So, if I give you a pill, it's gonna take a certain amount of time for your stomach to digest that so that it's absorbed and has its effect. If you have too much of that medicine in there or not enough, it's gonna take 30 minutes, plus or minus, to get a different effect. If I've got an IV started, within 30 seconds I've got the change. So I wanna control okay. how well, how comfortable you are, but how safe you are. Oral, I think it's a risk. I just don't choose so, to take so that. So we're keeping it safe. You're monitoring like their right. vital signs? Yeah, we're monitoring their pulse ox, their heart rate, their capnography, their CO2, what's coming out. But we know, based on the monitor, how safe they are. And like I said, there are, there are more complex cases. Say maybe you have some medical issues. I have an anesthesiologist there. That's all they're doing is watching that. Okay. So we're going to make sure you're safe no matter what the options are.